Hey everyone, welcome back to the Starvinity Universe. We'll be reading some more flash fiction today. In the Haldana Saga, The Bounty at Fort Mudclaw, Part 3. The thoughts of suffering swirled in her mind as she was tempted to help the people around her, but she controlled herself not to interfere, but she tapped on her pistol under her robe. She so wanted to shoot up the slave sellers and the pirate scum around her, she wanted to burn down all of Fort Mudclaw, her thoughts of conflict were broken up by Mick speaking to her through her comm. Scanning headset, CSH. Captain, I finished scanning the area. There's a bar and hotel on the right side of the next block. It's called Knopp's Place. It should have a sign that designates it so you won't be able to miss it. Christian Haldana sighed, thinking about the suffering around her, but responded to Mick. Thank you, Mick. Let's go then. I need a break before we continue our hunt. As she started walking towards Nob's place, Mick responded, It's my pleasure, Captain. You definitely need some rest. My scanners show that you are nowhere near peak physical performance. You didn't get much rest on the way here. You should have rested on the flight here. What, are you a doctor now? I don't need you to be giving me advice, Mick. Besides, you know I can't get sleep on that mug fracking ship the ship they gave me is a piece of crap you would think after all the successes I've had that they give me something uh, just a little mug fracking better captain they can't give you a state of the art starship you know that if they did you would be detected by every pirate from here to mug buck two using an old blockade runner is much better to stay under the galactic radar especially of the Dominion. The ship they gave you gives you the appearance of a common smuggler mercenary. We don't want your cover to be blown. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm just saying, Mick. It's mug freaking annoying, but whatever. I wouldn't expect you to understand you're just a bunch of silly coded circuits. You don't have a mug freaking body. Captain, you hurt my feelings. We've known each other for so long. A long time. I would think you'd be more polite by now. Captain Haldana was getting a little annoyed by Mick and didn't want to continue talking. She didn't say anything else to her AI until they made it to Knopp's place. Well, that's the end of The Bounty at Fort Mugclaw Part 3. I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe because I'm just starting out of sharing the Starvinity universe. I've been working on it for over a decade um, this is just a side story within the universe. There's so many. Uh, the main storyline is actually a book series that I'm writing. I'll be publishing, republishing the first book in that series, which is the uh, Tasm Saga. Uh, probably in April, the end of April of 2022. And um, the second book in that series will be published probably in... Um, Probably August, maybe the end of August. And the third book I'm planning to publish by the end of December of 2022. Hopefully, that's the plan. You know, it might not work out, but that is the plan for the time being. I might, um, I'll probably be reading some more flash fiction within the Star of the Universe and I'll also be sharing some of the other projects that we will be working on. There's lots of stories, lots of, um, uh, there's lots of lore too to the Star Vendor Universe, and actually, I'm planning to actually also create some of these into uh, films or short videos, short um, sci fi um, uh, stories, and we'll see how that works out. But I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.